Welcome to Colors Tech Hub. Today I am going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Excel. This is the third tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and Dell will talk about using conditional formatting using Microsoft Excel. Conditional formatting allows you to apply specific formatting to cells that meet certain criteria. Conditional formatting can transform your spreadsheet, that previously only stored data, into a dependable alert system that highlights key information and keeps you on top of your workload. Don't forget to subscribe and you will see more and more videos. I will start by applying highlight rules. I have my spreadsheet showing a list of cities and rainfall recorded in each of the cities for the past 12 months January to December in milliliters. To apply highlight rules, L will select the range of values that L want to apply a rule to. For this example, L want to highlight the months which received rainfall less than 500 milliliters. So L want January and April where rainfall recorded was less than 500 milliliters. From the Home tab, L will click Conditional Formatting on the right side of the toolbar, and click Highlight Cells Rules from the drop-down menu and click Less than 500. My spreadsheet will now reflect this highlight rule, with the rainfall recordings less than 500 highlighted red with red text. Now L want to create bottom top rules using conditional formatting. Top, bottom rules allow you to call attention to the top or bottom range of cells, which you can specify by number, percentage, or average. In this example, L will highlight the bottom 5 rainfall recordings for September. So L will select these cells then. Click Conditional Formatting, then Top, Bottom Rules and select Bottom 10 Items. The default number and percent in top, bottom rules in Excel is 10, but you can change that number in the new formatting rule box. In the box that appears, change 10 to 5, since I'll only want the bottom 5 values. Since I'll already have a red fill highlight rule, click the drop down menu and select yellow fill with dark yellow text. Click OK. My sheet will now highlight the bottom 5 values in the September column and update as you add to your dataset. Now I'll want to apply data bars using conditional formatting. Data bars apply a visual bar within each cell. The length of the bar relates the value of the cell to other cell values in the selected range. I want to apply data bars to the June column so L can easily assess the ratios of rainfall recordings for that month across all the cities. So L will click the top of the June column to select this range of cells. Click Conditional Formatting, then Data Bars. You'll see two options, one for Gradient Fill and one for Solid Fill. They function identically, just select the option and color you prefer. My sheet will now reflect the added rule. Now I'll want to apply color scales using conditional formatting. Color scales are similar to data bars in that they relate a cell's values in a selected range. However, Instead of representing this relationship by the length of a bar, color scales do so with color gradients. One color is assigned the lowest value and another the highest, with a range of colors in between. I will apply color scales to the November column. Click the top of the column to select this range. Click Conditional Formatting then Color Scales. 
You'll see a variety of different color ranges, and L will select the one L want. My spreadsheet now shows the rainfall recordings for November by color, red cells are received the least rainfall, and green cells received the highest rainfall. Now L want to apply icon sets using conditional formatting. Icon sets apply colorful icons to data. They are simply another way to call attention to important data, and relate cells to one another. I will apply icon sets to the March column to show low, middle, and high rainfall recordings. Click the top of the March column to select the range of values. Then I'll unclick conditional formatting, then select icon sets. You'll see a variety of options for directional, shapes, indicators, and ratings icons. You can choose any of these to fit the needs of your data. In this example, we'll choose the first one on indicators option red, yellow, and green circles that indicate high, middle, or low rainfall recordings. My sheet now reflects this new formatting rule. Now I'll want to edit and delete conditional formatting rules. So L will click Conditional Formatting and select Manage Rules. From the drop-down list, the Manage Rules box will appear. Click the drop-down menu at the top of the box and click this sheet to list the conditional formatting rules you have applied to the current sheet. To edit a rule, click the rule you want to change. In this example, we want to highlight the bottom 10 values in the September column, rather than the bottom 5 that we currently have highlighted. Click the bottom 5 row. Then, click Edit Rule. At the bottom of the box. A new box opens where you can adjust the conditions of the rule. So L will type 10 in the number field and click OK. So L will click OK to save the changes that L have made to the original rule. To delete a rule, L will return to the Manage Rules box and choose this sheet. Click the rule that L want to delete. In this case, the color grading on November column. Click the symbol next to edit rule in the lower left hand corner. Click OK. The conditional formatting on the November column is now deleted. Thank you for listening. Let's meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.